I shalom. First thing foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash, Devil Honest to the Elders, the Apostles of GMS. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect, noise in the gospel broad, living up the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, wherever they may be. Uh, this is just a quick hit, real quick. Um, one of the last break for the day. Um, this whole thing about impeachment process with Trump, uh, which I believe is just really smoke and mirrors. All right, and it may be something that's used to set off a false flag attack because articles came out throughout the week stating that if Trump got impeached, all hell would break loose because you got what you call liberals and then you got uh, patriots out there that really follow Trump, you know, because they're against the liberal agenda, which is the Democratic Party, which deals with uh, pretty much uh, the whole bagging of, of so-called minorities, which no, no political party is really for minorities, but... They deal with the uh, undesirable, so to speak, and they believe in gun banning and etc. Versus the patriots, you know, or the right wing or the left wing, they don't believe in those things. They believe in their Second Amendment rights. They believe in, uh, once again, like the right to bear arms. They believe in protest. They believe that America should be the way that it once was when it was lynching and hanging Negroes and Hispanics. So this may be exactly what's needed to get this election for 2020 to be suspended you know and to bring in uh the hour of martial law because once again they say if he got impeached all hell is gonna break loose and i think it's really uh a hoax because i believe that they're doing this to really get the people's mind of what's really going on in the world you know like world war three the collapse of the petrodollar and the pushing of the rfid chip which is indefinitely the mark of the beast according to the scriptures so I believe through the spirit that this is just a way to shift the paradigm to a uh, new world order, you know, to get the focus on these people. Because you people seem, you can't seem to go beyond CNN or Fox 32 News, which shows you how simple and peon minded you Americans really are. All right, because you believe in anything that what the hell the news put on and you believe anything what these uh, talking heads tell you, these mediums tell you. Okay. So it says, Congress approved impeachment resolution authorizing Schiff's secret probe of Trump, which if they really wanted Trump, they would have been ahead of him out of there. If he wasn't set up by the elites, he would have been out of there, man. But this is what the elites want. The elites want to bring uh, uh, this confusion. Like the scripture said, there should be great confusion. They want this confusion. They want you Democrats and Republicans, you peons out there, you people that believe in this uh, whole political fraudulent system. They want you at odds with each other, okay? It's all about divide and conquer. And this is another way of Satan being divided against Satan, which is the so-called white man. For those of you that don't know, all right? This is nothing but a, 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 a psychological operation so you people can really set you up for the slaughter, all right? Because the scriptures say when peace and safety come, sudden destruction coming. And you so focused on this BS right here, you don't even know what's really coming. Because honestly, I don't think Trump is going anywhere. But let's just say if he do, this can be a whole thing to spark off another civil war, which can indefinitely suspend the Constitution, which will have him as remaining president or some type of dictator. That's if, you know, they don't press forth through Congress with the vote. But it says the U.S. House of Representatives has approved the resolution authorizing the impeachment probe of President Donald Trump, despite Republican opposition arguing that the Soviet style bill lacks transparency and due process. So basically, they tell you we can't get him out of here. It says the 232 to 196 uh, count vote ended up being almost entirely along party lines, with only two Democrats voting against and no Republicans voting for the resolution. It says the White House has reacted to the outcome with a statement saying that with today's vote, Speaker Pelosi and Democrats have done nothing more to enshrine unacceptable visions of due progress and housing rules. Adding that the unhinged obsession with this illegitimate impeachment proceeds does not hurt President Donald Trump. It hurts the American history. And this devil Trump, he's basically saying this is the greatest witch hunt in American history. When in fact, that's a goddamn lie. All right, because technically we're the product of a witch hunt because Negroes are being sought out there and gunned down in the streets every single day without any public coverage. You know, what about the whole, uh, the riots, etc. around the world? Why is it a media blackout on those things? What about Jake that's being uh, killed off and sacrificed by the masses? There's no news coverage on that. That's a witch hunt. But it says, meanwhile, Trump branded the process the greatest witch hunt in American history in a tweet. But the resolution puts the House Intelligence Committee, Chair Adam Schiff, in charge of the impeachment proceedings, 
while limiting the access of Republican members of Congress and a White House attorney. So this shows you here that Satan is divided against Satan. All right, because for the simple fact, it makes a lot of sense that that when it comes out, if Trump is not impeached, they say he's guaranteed to win a re-election. All right, and maybe this may be what this is. Maybe this may be a way that the elites are doing to keep Trump in office for another term, which would be a good thing because if Trump stays in office, we definitely going to war, man. Well, y'all going to war. If Trump stays in office, more than likely the RFID chip is going to be passed during his tenure. If Trump stays in office, it's a good chance that we're going to see the second coming of the Messiah within a few years. Lord's will. Okay, and that's what we're banking on. But it says it comes to following criticism of the GOP that the inquiry launched the Speaker Nancy Pelosi, but 37 days ago have not been properly authorized by a full house vote breaking a precedent established by the previous impeachment campaigns in the U.S. history. So these Babylonians are pretty much coming against each other. Okay, they're fighting each other internally, which is going to uh, lead to an internal type situation with riots in the streets, you know, uh, people murdering and killing one another, lawlessness, you know, people, uh, cops, martial law being deployed to the streets, etc. Those particular things, man. All right. <clears throat> so... America has no bright days ahead. It's gloomy and darkness and, and just straight judgment that's going to be before you Babylonians, man. And this is your judgment. Okay? So anyway, uh, that's enough with that. This is really just all smoke and mirrors. It's really just propagation, but nonetheless, I don't believe he's going anywhere. And I believe that this impeachment thing is really going to work in his favor. You know, but whatever it goes, I'm guessing it's going to spark some type of protest, if not a full-out war. A race war but who knows you know who knows okay so this is the book of uh second Andrews 850 it says for many great misery should be done to them that in a latter time should dwell on the world because they have walked in great pride all right and this is the start of the miseries you see people rising up against the governments everywhere you got 13 different countries and uprising protests around the world and i'm sure it's more than that than count you know because for the simple fact you know, people are tired of being oppressed. Okay. Uh, let me go to another precept here. Go to second address, the sixth chapter. Because the American government, the American people, they're pretty much divided. Everybody here has a hatred towards something or somebody. All right. Because that's what this country was built on. The fundamentals of this country. All right. All right, so this is the book of Second Andrews eight, and Slack is six. And I'm gonna start at verses uh, let's start at verses uh, twenty three. It says, "And a trumpet should give a sound, and when every man hear it, they should suddenly be afraid." Right, because like I said, peace and safety, sudden destructions, and the trumpet sound is the alarm of war, the line of the the line of a uh, great imminent danger, impending danger, because everybody can agree in America that they're pretty much a, a, a foothold or a step from falling over the cliff. Everybody see the impending doom here. They just too blind to really care about it. You know, they feel like, well, one last drink, one last blunt, one last day to party. Like it's 1999 before all hell break loose. So these people are living in it now. They're not even worried about what's going to happen in a couple of months or years, wherever you want to put it. They don't care about that, you know. And it says here, and at that time, shall friends fight one another against like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear. But those that dwell therein, and the springs of the fountain should stand still, and in three hours they should not run. I mean, everything is going to come to a halt. So, like they said, if he gets impeached, it's going to be some stuff, man. You're going to have those liberals going against those patriots. And it's going to be a bloodbath out here, man. That's if the Lord, you know, has it to go that way. And that's just what I'm saying in the spirit. You know, it may be different. Who knows? But it's a lot of people that don't want this guy out of office. And, hey, we're one of the ones. Though we don't care for him, we don't vote for him. He's the devil. But he's set up to fulfill a purpose, man. All right? This guy, DJ, he's set up for a purpose, man. You know? And, hey, the Lord is going to... We, we ain't trying to take that purpose for him. We hope that he stays in there. We hope that he can get a damn third term if it's possible. You know? All right? So this is the book of Luke 12 and 49. It says, I am going to send fire on the earth, but what would I if it be already kindled? All right? So the Lord said, look, man, I hope this thing was already out of hand, but, hey... It's a process. It's a period of time that this must undergo. It's like labor pains, man. Like the scriptures say, uh, peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them as a woman in travail. 
you know, those are considered labor pangs. All right, and it is going to be racial tensions, which there already is, but it's going to be riots here. Okay, looting, stealing, killing, you know, uh, uh, gun people getting gunned down in the streets, etc. All right, so this is the book of uh, Second Edra 16, and I'm going to start at verses, uh, let's start at verses uh, 37. It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in a knife might bring it forth a son. With two or three hours of our birth, great pains can pass our womb, which pains. And when a child coming forth, it says they slack not a moment. Even so, shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and the sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Okay? So eventually, this thing is just going to pop. You know, because like I said, we're on the brink of destruction here. We're on the eve of destruction. It was a movie with Gregory Hines with this uh, cyborg chick. She was like a Terminator almost. It was called the Eve of Destruction. All right, and it was about this uh, robot, this cyborg that was set to bring some type of apocalyptic scenario to the residing cities, man. And they had to stop it. But in this case, you're not going to stop with the most high God in store. All right. Uh, I got two more precepts here. Matter of fact, I got one more, pre two precepts. But I want to go to this one here. Book of Isaiah, the 19th chapter, because this is going to set the Babylonians against the Babylonians. All right, so... This is the book of Isaiah 19 and 2. It says here, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor. City against city, kingdom against kingdom, world against world, country against country, black against white, or brown against red, you know, up against down, etc. All right? And going down to verse 4, it says, And the Egyptians would I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king should rule over them, says the Lord of hosts. And this is how they feel this guy DJ is. All right, he's doing things that the people are not happy with, but nonetheless, there he is taking his orders directly from the Rothschilds. They're telling him to stir up controversy, like the scriptures goes into great confusion. They're telling him, "Look, sign this law, pass this, say this, do this. We got to spark these people's interest to riot and to fight, so we can be for or be justified on bringing in martial law and bringing in this new world order." And they telling him, "Like, look, you better act good on it, or we gonna expire your ass, man." All right, because when those elites come in and do their wickedness, they mean just that. And this is my last precept, Matthew 12 and 25. It says here, And Yahweh shine knew their thoughts, and said it to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city a house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then should his kingdom stand? And with that, all praises and glory honor is due to Yahweh Shai. And with that, Shalom, Abba, Abba.